challenge I'm trying to combat here through you restorative justice is runaway impunity. Runaway impunity was uh, noticed, noted by most of us that it is actually a big impediment to democracy, to, to democracy in our various republics, right? So, there are two types of justice system. We have retributive justice and restorative justice, right? Now, one of the reasons why I believe restorative justice in our court system is not working with combating impunity in our, demo in our democracies is because retributive justice punishes all offenders and when it punishes all offenders, especially here in Africa where we have tribes, then it is interpreted that the justice, justice system is fighting a particular people in a state, right? So, some of the times the, the judicial processes are affected by the state and how the people will think, the, 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 the thinking that it will impact on the people, right? So we find that the judiciary is afraid to make particular rulings because it is afraid when it makes those rulings, there will be chaos in a state. So retributive justice is nearly impossible to fight impunity because, after all, most of these politicians enjoy backings from their tribes and clansmen, right? And then they engage in corruption and dubious activities with their clansmen. So if you punish them, you'll punish them together with all their clansmen. Are we together? So what is restorative justice? Restorative justice is, 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 uh, is dancing, it's tampering law with mercy, justice with mercy, so that we indeed are delivering justice, but at the same time, we are forgiving. That way, you, you, you create this impact on people that you are being lenient, you are, you are seeing them as a people and that you are appreciating them as a people, so you won't punish all of them. After all, if you are to forgive a number of them or give them light punishment, then they will not enjoy the backings of their tribesmen and their clansmen. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So, restorative justice in this aspect denotes that we punish prime offenders, we, with the major offenders of the various crimes they are doing. Then, those with lighter punishments, we give them lighter, well, those with lighter offenses, we give them lighter punishments, such as community service. If, if uh, John stole 10 billion from the treasury, the, and he was helped by Georgina, who Georgina and Georgina only took like 30,000 shillings, then I don't think both of them should be sent to prison equally, especially if they come from the same tribe, because it will create a bad picture to the general public. After all, they will be able to, to together go and say, no, these people are trying to fight our community. So what if we were to give Georgina a three months community service and send John to prison? That way, Georgina will be left behind to, to tell the others it was, a, it was a legit thing to do, right? So, my project here is trying to get... <laughs> my, my project here is like... My project here is like... We, we, we devise... I don't know which platform we are going to use, but we shall devise it. Now, we devise this platform with other like-minded fellows whereby we shall advocate for restorative justice to be used in our court system, so that it will be through uh, demonstrating, stripping on roads, uh, cutting placards, whatever we'll do. I am not sure about what we'll do, but whatever we'll do shall, shall lead to us to convince the judicial systems in our states that we can fight runaway impunity by using restorative justice as opposed to uh, what is the judicial system? Retributive, Retributive justice. And that.